hello everybody and welcome to my channel discoveries itself my name is natalie if you're an oldie but a goodie welcome back and if you're new to my channel recently subscribed or just passing through hello today's a super 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 quick video just to show you guys what i picked up from primark um i went to primark the other day and i went looking in their beauty section and i just picked up a bunch of stuff so i picked up a few bits and bobs from primark beauty and like one or two things off of the high street like super drug uh, so i'm just going to show you guys really quickly what i picked up so these are the LMX, the Little Mix Lashes, and this is in the style Perry. Um, it's the dramatic style. I really like this. If you guys watched my uh, Colourpop video where I was doing like swatches of the new So Juicy lip glosses, these are actually the lashes I was wearing. It was my first time wearing them. They were super easy to apply. They look really, really pretty on my eyes. And these are really affordable. So yeah, I picked these up. I had to pick these up because I actually uh, was going to wear them again. No, I was taking them off and I pulled them off and then I realised that I was taking strands off the lashes so I had to go pick up another set of these because you guys also want me to do a tutorial on that look I haven't even opened this yet and I got one of the uh, Makeup Revolution Renaissance or Revolution Makeup Rena Renaissance uh, lipsticks in the shade Val it's like a really nice um, peachy brown nude colour I don't know but it's super pretty this is in the shade Val if I didn't say and yeah I picked this up because I really liked it and I think this is like three pounds something really really cheap but I do like Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup's bits I think they're very very good so I picked these two up from Superdrug now onto the Primark stuff I bought a lot of nails just because I want long nails but I don't want permanent acrylic long nails so I picked up a bunch of press on nails because I used to actually wear their nails and then I stopped I can't remember why can you believe I actually got ID'd when I was buying these because of the glue she, the, the, the girl at the counter was like I'm so sorry to ask you and I was thinking what the hell is she gonna ask me and she's like I'm gonna have to ID you because of the glue and I was like rah okay so I had to give her my um ID but anyway yeah I picked up a few so I'm just gonna show them in bits so firstly I got the pointed matte white nails um, and these are just matte white. I love white nail varnish as you can see mine is already chipping But yeah, love white nail varnish. I picked these up then I got the pointed gloss in silk touch These are more of like a peachy glossy shade like nice nude shades so I picked those two up and these were a, a pound each I also picked up some nail glue, but to be honest all of these nail sets have nail glue in them They have adhesive in them I didn't read the box properly so I picked up some nail glue as well and this is fine I think every girl needs nail glue at some point in her life and I don't have any so I picked up some nail glue this was 60p for a pack of two and then I picked up these French shimmer Frenchy ones and these are two pounds I think because they're a little bit longer but they look so nice and natural um, so I picked these up and these ones were two pounds like I said then I picked up the pointed ones in the shade cloud I really like sort of grey nail varnish I think grey looks really good on brown skin anyway so I picked these up and these are pointed again I'm telling you I bought a hell of a load of these um, and then they were doing some really cool like new shades and like patterns and stuff so they have these uh, mono chrome geo nails um and these have like this really cool pattern on it i hope you guys can see uh, but they have a really cool pattern on them and i like the patterns i don't actually ever get any patterns when i get my nails done but i like the patterns in these then i picked up these sunrise sort of ombre tangerine nails and these have like tapered square tip they're like coffin but shorter and i thought these were cute for the summer then these two were super cute as well so i bought up i bought these uh spring fling pastel nails and they're really cute they've got sort of pastel tips this was a pound 50 and then i bought these neon light uh citrus ones as well so they're white but they have a neon yellow tip um which is ombre as well these are the ones i'm more, most excited about because i think these are super cool and these are pretty as well like i'm in love with all of these nails like Primark are doing bits. I always say Primark are doing bits, but all these nails are super cute. I don't think you can wear them for like days on end, but like for a night out, I think they're really good. On to lip products. Um, I saw that Primark had these new, they have the PS Nudes range. I'm not actually a big fan of that range. I don't know why. For some reason it's not doing much for me, but I did see that they had these new uh, Nudes Souffle, which I assume is meant to be a bit like the NYX lip creams. Um, and I got this brown shade in Devoted and then this lighter peachy shade in Hustle. These were £2 each and I'll do a swatch for you. Um, they are more watery 
than the NYX lip creams like, but they are thick but they're just not as moussey as the NYX lip creams and they smell heavily of they smell heavily of vanilla which I'm not mad about at all but one is devoted and the bottom one is hustle they are good nudes for brown skin and one thing I like about Primark is actually Primark for the range that they have or the lipstick range they actually have a good range from light to dark for you know fairer skin tones to deeper skin tones and I appreciate that from Primark because they're doing better than some of these people out on the high street so two thumbs up for Primark Beauty. Let's go on to perfume you guys know I always talk about Primark perfumes and I found another one that I love so this is obviously from the PS Love range because apparently that's my go-to and they have released PS Love pastels uh, gorgeous 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 scent I cannot describe to you what this scent is like it's like um a summery slightly sweet slightly vanilla musky smell it's and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful for summer like I use this more than I use my Lancome La Via Belle because I love this smell I've never smelled anything like it either I'm sure this is a duper something but my my perfume collection is not big at all it's really not so I cannot tell you what this is a duper so I think this was £3.50 um, with the PS Love range it's always like limited edition kinda so I am going to pick up more of these because this smell is the bomb I also picked up some beauty blenders um, I don't want to spend 20 quid on the original beauty blender I just don't it hurts me so much so I just went to Primark and bought uh, their beauty blenders I actually bought two of these the other day they're okay I mean they're not as soft as the original beauty blender but they do just exactly what I need them to do uh, next I saw this so this is the full slash queen this is a mascara if you guys know this packaging is a dupe of the Too Faced better than sex mascara uh, which I used to have and I used to use and I absolutely used to love so I picked this up to see if this was a dupe unfortunately there was no tester there you can tell if it's a dupe by the brush like the better than sex mascara had a very distinct looking brush uh, when I got home I looked at the brush the brush is not the same as the better than sex mascara brush it's your traditional tapered mascara wand there's nothing crazy crazy about it I haven't tried it yet so I will definitely try it out it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out but it's only three pounds so I'm not mad that I picked it up I'll definitely try it out and you know see if it's as good as they claim it is and then last but not least I found this which is super interesting to me uh, from the PS nudes range as well is PS nudes glow so this is an illuminating body glow this is in the shade fortune which when I was in store I think there's only two shades there was like a fairer shade and this shade which is fortune I think don't quote me because I've never tried them but I think this may be a dupe of the Fenty body lavas obviously the Fenty body lavas come in like three different shades there's only two I don't even know what the deeper shade looks like I know this trophy wife but I don't really know it much about the Fenty body lavas but I thought I'd pick this up just to see um and I've tested a little bit it's a bit glittery for me I don't really know what the body lavas are meant to be like as I said because I haven't tried them before but I just thought this was like really nice if you're going like out for like a date night or something you want to put some of this on your legs or on your chest you know if you're going to show a bit of cleavage I think it'd be look really nice at night let me try it on camera actually so you guys can see I'm going to use a brush just like this and I'm going to pump it out onto the brush like this and it's almost like a tanning mousse it reminds me of a tanning mousse let me put it on my arm so you can see it and this smells it smells good though it smells like vanilla cocoa butter in a way it smells nice and delicious um, and let me put some on my chest I can't see <laughs> oh it does smell good so I do the Rihanna thing where we put it on the shoulder if Rihanna can do it why can't I do it with Primark Beauty you know yeah this smells so good the sun is out oh oh baby what four pounds the sun came out at the right time look at that yeah what are you mad <laughs> wow yeah I look nice I look good I feel good so yeah this is what it looks like in theory it's beautiful in practice it is still hella sticky in my body like I can feel the stickiness and the tackiness and that does not feel nice at all maybe I put on too much but yeah it's super sticky even though this Primark body glow looks nice and it looks nice on the body I think it really looks nice on the chest this baby does not set like 
the stickiness is real and uncomfortable like um he oh it does not feel nice <laughs> but maybe i just apply too much maybe if you sit with like a translucent powder it'd be better but right now it doesn't it doesn't feel too great if you know what i'm saying it just feels it feels like you know that stickiness when you touch a toffee or something and your your hands are sticky that's what it feels like it doesn't feel nice it doesn't feel anyway though i respect what primark were trying to do i mean either way four pounds is a lot cheaper than 46 so I'd f I feel like I'd find a way to make this work. I think I just set it with some translucent powder and it should be okay. But yeah, that's my very, very quick, super duper Primark Beauty haul. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're a Primark Beauty fan, let me know what are your favourite things from Primark. What items are you loving from Primark Beauty or do you love from Primark Beauty that you would recommend me to pick up? Um, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Anything you need to know will be in the description bar below and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Mwah.